Drums and percussion are an obsession of mine. So, of course, when I noticed perfect drums from Naughty Seal Audio, I was compelled to make another video. This product isn't quite like other drum libraries, or any library for that matter, so there's a lot to talk about here. We'll start with the sound first, because it's the easiest thing to cover. Application-wise, this library is geared towards rock, metal, and pop. That's where it shines. It doesn't exactly have the finesse to handle indie, jazz, or complex funk, but you may not find that to be an issue at all, as I'll explain later. The library ships with a ton of content, Let's take some time to run through the kit pieces. The kicks. The snares, which have the ghost note and side stick articulations for the original snares, and just the centre and rim shot articulations for the expanded selection that was added to the library later. The toms. The hi-hats, which have edge, tip, half-closed, half-open, open and pedal articulations. The rides.
And finally, the crashes, splashes, stacks, and chinas. Once again, the core crashes have a choke articulation, whereas the extra crashes don't. As a drummer, I love the fact they've added the neat little pictures of the actual kit pieces. What's more important, though, is that every drum was recorded and engineered in keeping with the overall theme of rock, pop, and metal. So every single one of these kits will perform well in those styles, rather than sporting some cutting kicks, some not-so-cutting kicks, and some dull kicks, for example. The library doesn't try to be a one-size-fits-all collection. It does what it's good at extremely well. The kicks are crisp, the snares are powerful, the cymbals are controlled, and the toms are, in my opinion, the best sounding toms in any drum library. And that's saying something. Now let's talk about the presentation and delivery. The dynamic layers have been kept to a minimum. And it works really well for this collection, considering its style focus. Normally I'd have a problem with that, but not here. There's plenty of round robins to offset that. What's interesting is that the soft to mid layers for the core snares have been provided as a ghost note articulation key, which puts the focus on these hits rather than hiding them underneath the harder center hit articulations. This makes blast beats and gent style playing a joy to play and program, as the hits really stand out.
metal composers will definitely find that useful. Another interesting approach is the provided perspectives. Rather than bogging down the process with a ton of different mic channels, everything has been presented with a simple direct mic control, overhead mic control, room mic control, and for some instruments, reverb control, which is actually the sound of the samples run through a Bricasti reverb unit. You can control the volume of each articulation for every instrument, and you can custom map the articulations as well. Simple, logical, and intuitive. In regards to the kicks, snares, and toms, you can play them as they originally sounded during the recording, or you can dial in this super useful FX perspective. For this perspective, the direct mic samples for the kicks, snares, and toms were meticulously processed using digital N hardware gear, and even special one-shot trigger samples were layered in to create the kind of polished, cutting drum sound you hear in rock, pop, and metal mixes. This ensures that your drums will slice through the guitars and bass, pre-mixed and pretty much ready to master. As a drum library for rock, pop and metal, I consider this one of the best collections available, and here's why. When you want high quality drums for these genres, you can buy something like Easy Drummer. But when you buy that program, you're paying for the engine and the core library. The core library sounds great, but it's a one size fits all, so you have to rely on presets or further mixing to get exactly what you want. You can buy an expansion library, but often these expansion libraries will cater to certain styles of metal, certain styles of rock, and so on. By the time you've found what you want, you've spent around $600. That's how drum libraries like Easy Drummer and Addictive Drums work. They're modular. Perfect Drums, on the other hand, is like taking an Easy X, like Drum Kit from Hell, for example, refining it, streamlining it, and adding in a truckload more kit pieces. And all this for 150 bucks. The only other library that comes close to this kind of convenience, sound, and price would be Get Good Drums Modern and Massive. But there's something Perfect Drums has that Modern and Massive, and any other library for that matter, doesn't have. Something game-changing. Here's where Perfect Drums takes the cake. You can forget about the drums from this point on, because even if you don't want the library, you may still feel justified in investing $150 in it. The Perfect Drums engine is a fully-fledged sampler, and in the best way possible. There are 16 slots here. In each one of these slots, you can load up five sample layers that can be controlled using the knobs for the direct, overhead, room, reverb and effects layers. Basically, five microphone positions. You can load eight round robins into these layers, which will automatically cycle, and for each of the 16 slots, you can have six different sample sets, or articulations as they're called, and custom map them. In other words, that's six sounds you can load and map to each slot, with eight round robins and extra layers to control. Now, there are only three velocity areas you can map to, soft, medium, and hard, which you can control the areas for. But think of it this way. If you use the six articulation slots to separate the dynamic layers, as is done in libraries like Strike Force, Shimmer Shake Strike, and Perk Plus, you can have three soft velocities on one key, three harder velocities on the next key, and so on and so on, for a total of 18 velocity levels, each with round robins and alternate layers or mic perspective. And that's just for one slot. Of course, it's no contact. But here's the deal. Contact requires manual mapping, manual group and round robin assignment, or scripting and more scripting. It can turn a lot of would-be sample recordists off with its deep complexity. Perfect Drums, however, provides you with a template that allows you to assign velocity layers, mic positions, round robins and articulations with almost no knowledge of sampling engines and no scripting. It not only opens the door for custom sampling and beginning sample developers, it kicks it off the hinges. The libraries you can create can be compressed and exported and, you guessed it, shared and sold to others who can download the free player and play your libraries. Of course, it won't cover complex melodic instruments with crossfades, releases and transitions, 
but percussive, industrial and simple melodic instruments are all fair game. I don't have any custom samples here now, I'm still in the process of recording some stuff, but assume it's like using a full version of Contact that has a template script which auto-assigns layers and round robins and MIDI learns key mapping, and the standard envelope filters and even the ability to mark samples as choke, which will cut off other marked samples. Perfect for hi-hats, for example. $150 has never taken you further. It contains a stellar drum library that the developers promise will be expanded more at no further cost, and a uniquely user-friendly sampling engine that will give you a straight line between your samples and other composers' creations. This is truly something special. And that's that. I'll see you next time with another library. Check you later.